Hi YouTube, welcome to the vlog. This is just after the vlog that I just made, but I opened this container and something amazing is happening. I'm going to try the pendulum technique to see what this is saying it is. Look at that. It's immediately saying a female. This is my Therapeutic Sturmy. It is real wildly going into a female. It is from Jeepers Creepers Tarantulas. There's nothing on the pendulum. And it is a female. And it's picking up momentum, so it's a super female. This is something you don't get to see on YouTube very often. Give me 10 on the clock glove. This is amazing. This is oh happy day because it further goes to prove the pendulum. This is an unsexed female as of this point. Um, here is the pendulum and there is my therapist of Sturmy being totally awesome I'll try to get you a better view more light on the subject we just put some dwarf Costa Rican purple isopods in here that's why I noticed she was molting I knew she was in pre-mold but how cool is that and that is an extreme danger zone around her. I see all kinds. Baby, there is a ton of urticating hair. She made a web and then she put urticating hair all around the entire web where she's going to be uh, molting. I guess that was a safeguard from ants or pests or whatever it could have been. I'm gonna try to get some better close up. If it turns upside down, I apologize. Look at this girl. Oops, sorry, I got the string in there. Yep, this is my Sturmy. She's my friend till the end. Heidi ho. <laughs> I think good guy. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. Thank you, my friend. This is awesome. The pendulum says that it's a female, and I believe it because it's 100% accurate. And uh, it also says that this Postletheria metallica is a female. So I've got a female Goody, and I've got a female of this. And I'm glad that that works 100%. And I'm glad that Edward Tyndall YouTube is the first person on the internet, on YouTube, to show that you can use that technique for every living thing. So there's gonna be no guesswork on tarantulas, whether they be a sling, or whether it be an egg with legs, or whatever. Unhatched eggs, you can actually count your eggs before they hatch now, or at least sex them. So I wanna give a big, you're welcome, <laughs> Edward Tyndall to the world on that one. And I am so going to mount this molt. This is going to be bad to the freaking bone. With honors, sir. She's doubled in size now. Can you hear me? I'm working on her ultimate badass enclosure. When I first set this one up, I put water crystals in here and all kinds of other stuff because I didn't want nothing to happen to her. And uh, now she's got dwarf white isopods. I put a couple wild caught isopods that I had long term and had babies and babies and babies and I put some springtails in there. I just added the dwarf purple isopods. So I'm guessing, if you see this video, Jeepers, leave it in the comments below.